there. I, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Let's yeah. uh, see what we do. And welcome back to Boss and the Bear. I'm Jocelyn the Boss. And I'm the Bear. And we're playing Sonic Adventure. I'm on the last level of the Sonic campaign right now. Oh my god. But before we talk too much about that, we're going to tell a story, everybody. <laughs> So for those of you who may have tuned in last episode, and you should have, because you should be watching all these in order if you can. Unless you don't like context. I mean, I guess that's the thing. Well, basically, my memories of like this sequence of events um, may not line up completely with like how it all actually went <laughs> down. I just I, I have very specific memories of like certain events. And one of those is like being in our friend Morgan's car one time. I think it was after we got like wings together or something. <laughs> yep. And the three of us were like talking about sexuality. And by yeah. then I was like, I think I was president of the pride club and stuff like that. I was like super out and gay and stuff. And we were just, and you guys were both not. <laughs> and you're both like saying like, yeah, you know, I've, I've like never even thought about like, <laughs> just men are just so great. And I can't imagine like <laughs> feeling that way about a woman. And you were both saying that. And of course, you know, you do the responsible thing and you're just like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I totally, totally believe you. You definitely have the final say over who you're attracted to. Even if it's not true, I, it's not my position <laughs> to be all like, whatever, you're actually gay. Read your receipts. Um, well, like, that's a, that's a, a really important conversation to have. But anyway, mm -hmm. months later, at an unrelated thing, still hanging out with Morgan, um, we go to a sushi restaurant. And uh, uh, one of my friends who is just, like, the most visibly queer person you can imagine okay. oh my God. Uh, is our server. And, like, the second Bear lays eyes on her, it's just, like, instant lady boner. Instant. Like, l oh, my gosh. I'm friends with her now. And even now, like, when I see her, I'm always like, oh. I I host another show with her, hey? Yeah. I'm not going to talk <laughs> about what show that is because that, like, yeah. But, but yeah, so yeah, like that's the thing. And a lot of people have assumed that like I have a thing for her too, because like literally every gay woman in town yeah. has at some point so crushed on her oh or gosh, hit on her so or gone cute. out with her. She's and everyone so assumes cute. that I would have too, but I haven't. Oh, she's so fucking. And we even like talked about it on our show once. So it was just like you know, I've I've never really just there you go felt that way about you. And no offense or whatever. She's like, nah, it's, it's totally fine. We're professional and shit. But yeah, so that was the thing. It's just like Bear goes from being like, yeah, totally. Just like I, I can't imagine not being with a guy. You actually misremembered a slight bit of the car conversation. Okay. Because I remember this now. Um, so while we're in the car and I'm being like, no, I'm super straight. And then I remember uh, the young lady who bought Undertale for me, actually, uh, who has been one of my best friends since like high school. I adore her. She's wonderful. Um, and like, even in high school, I was like, I'm straight, except for Candy. <laughs> so I said that in the car, because we were having that conversation, and I was like, oh, oh there's this one girl, Cagney. And I just like, and you were like, well, you can be straight and j except for for Cagney. I mean, it's however you want to identify, you know? Like, and that's, and at the time. I still believe that, you know? Yeah. I still very firmly, um, but like <laughs> this is the thing is sexuality is such a big mess that it like is. um I I'm of the belief now that like labels are only exactly as useful as you want them to be. Yeah. And so like you can't really you can't really stick a label on anybody expect those definitions to be consistent across the yeah. board. Nor should you. And I think that's like actually like kind of a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Uh cuz like one of my friends um from my hometown he has identified as a gay man for a very long time, but he's married to a woman, and oh, really? they have a kid together. And it, like, she knows about it. She knows about him being gay. And oh, god damn oh, it, god. I died the exact same place I died last time. Whatever. Um, and like, it's just, I think their first fight as a married couple was like because he was flirting with a guy at a Halloween party. And he just says, you know, like, the love that I have for my mate is different than the love that I have for, like, the world at large. And I, I totally get that. Yeah. But the other thing, too, is that, like, he discovered he was gay by, through a crush of another friend of his. Mm. And that person ended up growing up to be a trans woman. Uh. 
so like that that just like adds a whole new dimension to it because like you know when he was crushing on her she wasn't identifying as a her yet yeah and wasn't presenting as a her yet and all this stuff and then what happens when yeah like what happens to that attraction when you know this person now identifies <coughs> and is taken by the public as a woman yeah. so it's it's all messy and complicated and strange he says he's gay. I believe him. That's the important thing. Yes. And I Is made that... it past that part. Hooray for me. Hurrah. I hate these stupid hammers because they don't like cause you to lose rings. They're just big, dumb obstacles. Anyway. Uh, so I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell the story now of like, like looking back when I realized like the moment that it, like my little gay heart began. Um, so I was watching Star Trek Voyager um, which I was a huge was fan of. Was it seven of nine? No, everybody, everybody I knew is going to think that. that it, was, seven of nine. it was me. Seven of nine was definitely <laughs> me. Um, no, it was Kess. Oh. And it was the episode um, where they found a husband and wife on a ship and the husband died, but he ended up being like an, a powerful psychic and he transferred his consciousness to Kess's body. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. So eventually like Kess starts acting all evil and it's like, okay, whatever. Um, but then like the, the wife and Kess run away to their secret evil lair or whatever. And Kess comes out with this outfit that's like this tiny black jacket with big shoulder pads and the tightest pair of leather pants I've ever seen in my life. And just like, and then just like goes up to the wife and is like, it doesn't matter that this body is female, I'll love you forever. And then makes out with her while the camera, like just at the bottom of the screen, it's like Kess's delightful tight tushy in leather pants. <laughs> and like at the time I her was like- Her tight tushy. Her tight I'm tushy. I'm not gonna let you forget about that you just said that. <laughs> she has a, t- she has she a has really a, tight tushy. She has, like, a, she has a sweet ass. She's a, she has a mighty uh, fine but in but <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Go ahead, tell the rest of your story yeah, about just, tight tushies. Just at the time, I was like, wow, Kess is so pretty, and I just want to be. Bang her. her. I want to. I want to get all up in that. When really, yeah, I wanted to put my mouth on the tight tushie. <laughs> <laughs> I just did. I, you know what? I was trying to not be gross. <laughs> I didn't know how gross I wanted to be on this. Because, like, I actually have a huge problem, you know, being a lesbian and having (laughs) friends who are dudes. um, Yeah. You get a lot of shit. I died. Um, You get a lot of, like, guys who assume that. um, It's like a performative thing for them. Well, it's that. And also, like, that I would talk about women the same way that they talk about women. Mm. And can I just say I am over listening to straight guys talk about women ever. Yeah. I, I, I don't like it. I think we've even talked about this on the show before, but like the violent language of like, yeah, crush that puss or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's just like, like that why? Fun. I don't want to, I don't want you to crush anything. I would not. Can we just, as somebody who generally oh, likes fuck. to be God damn it. touched by peen and manly hands, like, well, sure. I don't want you to, well, Unless we're in a very specific situation and we've had a long conversation first, I don't want you oh, to crush my puss. Like, like it's just why? Why that, would that be? It's not like the starting of sexy. And it's just like it's just crap like that. I don't yeah. like listening to that, and it's it's everywhere. And so when like straight guys will talk about that to me, I'm always just like, uh, can you not? Like, yeah, okay, we're both into women, but it's a different conversation. So yeah. shut up. I see them as as very attractive people, and you yes. seem to see them as very attractive lamps. Lamps. That's yeah. a good one. Right? Uh, what are, how are we for time? Yeah, um, we're bad. at like nine minutes. So, okay. Because you know. like, it's this last boss fight, and then that's it. And I know I can do the boss fight in one can try. do it in under five minutes? I don't know is the thing, and I I do want to get through the whole credits because I want us to do the thing. Oh, the whole credits. We should probably. All right, so maybe we should just like let this little cutscene play out. Um, but yeah, just like so to our straight dude listeners, love you. Stop talking about women in gross ways. 
And Please. if you don't talk about women in gross ways, then that's wonderful. And you should continue to be a good example. And... We love you. Yeah. And talk out Make when guys choices. are talking about women in a gross way. Because they'll listen to you. Because they won't They won't listen to us. They just won't. For the most part. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Like, it, if we, <laughs> we want to have that conversation, you know, <laughs> about, like, privilege and whatnot. But you know what? I... I uh, we'll save it. This is a Sonic Adventure We've game. We waxed poetic about. about I, I have more to say. I, I actually have like one more right. thing to say, yeah. but I think I'm gonna. Okay. Um, it's been a really long time since I've seen a straight person out in the wild. <laughs> like, I think your boyfriend is the only straight person I regularly associate with and talk to these days. I would say that's probably a true <laughs> fact for me as well. In so. Fact. Uh, on that note, can we or can we close it off now, or do yeah. I still have? Yeah, All right. So until next time, I'm Jocelyn the boss, and, I'm the and we'll see you next episode. Bye.